Hello and welcome back to the stars everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Arc Welder in Starfield, one of the earlier game heavy weapons that you can get. The Arc Welder can appear fairly early on into the game. Usually I find these in chests, laying around work sites, construction sites, mining facilities, anything like that. They're very often in very large boxes where a lot of heavy weapons are usually placed. This is one of the more early game heavy weapons that you can get, as well as one of the more early game energy weapons that you can get. So for base stats, the Arc Welder comes in at 17 damage a hit, which isn't super high, but it's not super low either. This one uses the 3 kilovolts laser cartridge. It's this, the Equinox, and the Orion that all use this. So it's a fairly common round. You can find it pretty early on because Equinox are super easy to find, and usually you get a decent amount of ammo whenever you pick up like any of these weapons. Orions aren't a super late game weapon either, and neither is the Arc Welder, so the ammo is fairly common. This one holds 100 ammo in it, which it can go through pretty quick because this does have a high rate of fire. Its rate of fire is 76. It also has 20 meters of effective range, same as all of the handguns besides the Razorback, and one of the more standard ranges of the game, which is pretty interesting because this does just fire out an electricity trail that can hit enemies. It has low accuracy, sort of. Since you're holding this just on target, its accuracy honestly doesn't matter. It's similar to the cutter where it technically has low accuracy too, but I don't understand why. I'm assuming just because there needs to be an accuracy modifier on weapons in order for them to actually function in the game. And then it does weigh quite a lot coming in at 4.2, actually one of the heaviest weapons in the game. These weapons also aren't great to sell, just like the cutter, so it's not really a good thing to be hoarding arc welders, and it would be much better if you just grab regular weapons if you want to take weapons to sell. For the pros of the arc welder, it is an early game heavy weapon, and there's not a whole lot of heavy weapons in this game, so if you want to specialize in heavy weapons, this is one of the better ones. It also does count as a laser weapon too, so you can specialize in lasers and that can be pretty useful because the last level of the laser, just like we talked about with the cutter, makes it so that you can hit an enemy and every time you hit there's a chance of proccing fire on them and then setting them on light and this stacks dealing damage over time and this does total percent health damage. So it can kill high health enemies pretty quickly if you're allowed to just hold it on there non-stop. Other pros are that this actually does have pretty good damage per second once you do have the fire on it. Before then, I don't think its damage per second is all that great and its damage per shot isn't that great. It's okay for constantly hitting an enemy and if you can keep staggering them, then this can work pretty well. But if enemies are allowed to get up close and just interrupt you, then this isn't that useful as well as if enemies wish to stay at a very long range and just sit there and snipe at you. The Arc Welder is also going to struggle at those ranges. For the cons of this, it has very low mods. You only get to put two mods on this weapon at any given time. So the modded version of this is not that different than the unmodded version. There's a little bit of bonuses and we'll talk about that in a little bit. This does low damage per shot and low damage per second. If you don't have perks, if you do, then that does help it out quite a bit more. This also eats through ammo really quick, and I would say that both the Equinox and the Orion would be better uses of the ammo than the Arc Welder in most builds, unless you're just going with a specific heavy weapon build. It is very heavy, so it's not super easy to, to have a bunch of these, and there is no upgrade versions of the Arc Welder. It is similar to the Cutter, where there is just the Arc Welder, that's it. There is no refined, calibrated, advanced version. You just have the Arc Welder. So once you get it, that's all there is, unless you can get legendary effects on it, which I do find Arc Welders with legendary effects on them fairly regularly. Although usually it has like bashing on it, which is not a great effect to have on it whatsoever. In my heavy weapons tier list, I put the Arc Welder down into D tier, saying that it was probably one of the weakest weapons in the entire game. And I would still stand by that. I still think it's one of the weakest weapons in the game, not a good use of the ammunition that you're using for it, and it doesn't really get that much better with mods. We'll talk about that now though with the modded version. For mods, you have just two options, where you have a laser mod and an internal mod. For a laser mod, you can either have a laser or not have a laser. This functions the exact same way as putting a laser on every other weapon. So if you put a laser sight on this, then you get increased accuracy. That doesn't really matter for a weapon like this where you're just going to be holding on a target. Technically, it's a bonus, so you might as well throw it on if you can. If not, then you're not missing out on anything though. So this mod could honestly just be nothing and it wouldn't make much of a difference. And then there is the internal mod, which does change this quite a bit where you have three options for this outside of just not having one. You can have an overclocked one, which increases your rate of fire. This is okay, and I did try it out. You go through ammo even faster with this, but you can put more DPS out on targets and you can potentially stagger them more often but it still has all the same problems as the regular arc welder and you're just gonna have to be reloading it more often. Not that that's a huge deal because it does hold a lot of shots, but it is still something to consider. You have the amplifier, which is the one that I went with. This just ups your damage by about 10. 
which is pretty decent. That's actually pretty good when you can just hold this onto a target and keep dealing DPS to them. It will kill things a little bit quicker and it will make better use of your ammo. That's why I liked it the best, but it's still not amazing. And then there's also the precision tuning, which increases your accuracy and increases your range. Range is kind of interesting because you can make this even further than just the 20 meters of range. Most of the time though, you're not going to be trying to use the arc welder at that range. Most of the time you're going to be using it within the cutter's range or a little bit further than that. So very, very close. And that's going to be like the main weapon that you're going to be comparing the arc welder to is the cutter. And there's not really a reason to be using the arc welder over the cutter, which is why I would consider the cutter to be much better. The cutter has unlimited ammo. It is lighter, which is kind of funny because that's not a super light weapon either. It deals better damage per second once you have the full lasers where it can just keep burning enemies quicker and just keep stacking up that damage over time and that percent health damage. And I guess all the other utility things that the cutter has. But as a weapon, I would still say that the cutter is more practical and generally better than the arc welder. It just makes more sense unless again you are just using a heavy weapons only build you're not using anything else in which case then you might as well use this because it's going to be the ammunition that you have and i guess that brings us to our final point should you use the arc welder and i would say probably not a unless it's the only heavy weapon that you got and you're going with a heavy weapon build and you just have an extra amount of ammo then yeah you might as well because it's going to be a just something that can use that ammo. But assuming you're not going with that, assuming you're going with an energy weapons build, I would say no. There is better energy weapons that use the same ammunition and better just energy weapons in general. The Equinox beats this in pretty much every situation besides just long sustained damage. And later on into the game, the Orion also beats this in every situation where it has much longer range, has a lot more accuracy, does a lot more damage per second, still has a large magazine, makes better use of this ammo. Even if you just want to compare this against the laser pistol that you get at the start, I would say the Solstice is better than this too. So this weapon just kind of falls flat in my opinion. That's also why I didn't bother to put a modded version of it into the tier list, because the base version and the modded version are almost the same. And they are probably the weakest weapon in the game, at least in my opinion. And it's kind of really sad when there's a weapon like that where it's not particularly fun, it's not particularly strong, doesn't have any unique things. There's no unique variants of this either. You can't even find any like rare versions of this from stores or from particular sellers, which is also kind of weird because a lot of stores do sell tools. They usually sell like the cutter. So I don't know why there's not unique versions of some of these weapons. So tell me your thoughts on the arc welder down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till then, have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.